I'm so excited to share this with you. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lizzie and I'm a Disney plush collector from the UK. So happy Friday. We've got a very exciting announcement for you, but unfortunately, but unfortunately for you, not for me, it's an announcement of something that's already happened. So you may remember if you've been subscribed for a few years that pre-COVID I would always announce my Disney trips once I'd got back because I don't feel comfortable sharing when I'm away basically and especially with having my new house and everything that kind of anxiety around sharing when I'm away has gotten worse. I never liked it when people asked when my next trip was and asked for specifics and things because I think it's a very personal thing to be sharing and if you don't want to you shouldn't feel pressured into it. But I do still like doing these trip announcements to announce the vlogs more than anything. So I am going at the time of filming but by the time you see it, I am coming back from another Disney cruise. So this cruise has been booked since we got home from our Walt Disney World and Disney Fantasy trip last year. If you didn't see the vlogs, I will leave a card up above to the Disney Fantasy playlist. That was the second cruise ship I had been on because of course me and my mom had been on the Disney Magic at Sea UK sailings but Joe did join us for the fantasy. Sadly my dad couldn't make it because he wasn't very well and when we booked last May for this cruise my dad was meant to come but obviously because he has just had an operation he also hasn't been able to make it unfortunately so it is me my mum and Joe. So we are going on a new cruise ship to us we have just sailed on the Disney dream. So as well as this trip announcement I am also going to talk about the merchandise I am hoping to get knowing what I already know about Disney Cruise Line's merch offerings. But to tell you more about this cruise it is the Disney dream. We set sail from Barcelona. I have never been to Spain before. I have never really wanted to go to Spain because I consider it to be too hot for my liking. So it's quite funny that the only time you've managed to get me to Spain is to get me on a Disney cruise. It stops at Toulon in France which from there you can go to Provence and then in Italy we stop at Livorno which from there you can go to Florence and Pisa. Then we stop in Civita Vecchia which is where you can get off for Rome. This one's really exciting because we had planned the four of us, my mom, dad and Joe, to go to Rome in June 2020 and that is the only non-Disney trip that got cancelled but it was for my dad's 60th birthday. We love Italy, Joe loves Italy but has never Ever been so we wanted this cruise specifically for Rome but then what I'm most excited for is the Naples stop because from Naples you can go to Pompeii which has been a dream of mine for the longest time and then the final stop is Palma di Mallorca in Spain which again I've never wanted to go but I will have a little look around because I might as well. I do have a Hard Rock Cafe pin from there that my old manager got for me so I don't need to go there at least. But what's really really exciting about this cruise is it's one of the 25th anniversary sailings for the Disney Cruise Line. These kick off in May. There will be a different menu for one of the nights. There is supposed to be new merch. I'm hoping personally for plush in their 25th anniversary outfits because like I said I'm going to go on to some of the merch that I would like to get if they have it available. So obviously that's a big one but I personally haven't seen any of the 25th anniversary merch yet so it will all be a surprise to me but if they had the plushes I would be so happy. Of the standard Disney Cruise Line plushes that they do this isn't including the Wish inaugural sailings ones but if anyone's going and can get me one comment down below message me on Instagram Lizzie and Disney, I would love those. But the standard ones, I am only missing Donald Duck in his sailor outfit. You may remember that I was missing Chip 
but I did manage to get a pickup of Chip, so he's good. I also remember on the Disney Magic at Sea sailing seeing a pirate stitch. It wasn't on my sailing or else I would have bought it, but I saw previous sailings in vlogs and things where they showed this stitch. I thought he would be one of the merch offerings on Pirate Night on our fantasy cruise, but sadly he wasn't. But we do have a Pirate Night on this cruise, so fingers crossed that Pirate Stitch makes an appearance in the shop. And then I've seen on Instagram recently, and if you don't follow me on Instagram, that is where I post all the plush news that I see. The cruise line have started doing towel animal plushes, which I would love to get. It's price dependent because if they're really expensive, then I won't get them. But I would love to see them because the towel animals are like one of my highlights of the cruise. So I would love to commemorate that with a towel plush. I've only seen an elephant and I think a monkey. So I'm not sure which one I would go with. Probably the monkey because on our fantasy cruise, I was for a monkey towel animal to the point that I kept leaving a coat hanger out because that is how they do it and we never got one and I was so sad so I'm gonna try on the dream to get a towel monkey. I never got a mug from the previous two sailings. I got a mug for my friend on the magic and then on the fantasy I didn't see a mug I liked but every cruise has the like funnel mug that has that specific ship on it so I would like to get the dream one if they had it. I am going to take some mug boxes just in case I buy anything valuable and breakable like that. I would also love to get a spirit jersey because I've only got the blue standard Disney Cruise Line one and the Castaway Key one. My mum's got the magic but not the fantasy I don't think but they're usually white so I probably wouldn't get that one but if they have a 25th anniversary one I would love to get that. But for the last few things that I would like to buy I've actually got examples so let's take a look. I have this from the Magic but sadly they did not sell it on our fantasy cruise because I would have bought another. I would really like to get the Dream in this scale model form so again this is the Magic. This is in my office but Joe would really like to display it in the living room so if we had two that would make a lot more sense. So fingers crossed they have these. It was $50 so I'm budgeting for that because I don't want to spend a lot of money. I'm figuring that because I have most of the plushes already I might not spend much but I would really really love this. And then again this is from the Magic. On the Fantasy they only had the Magic one. They do sell a Fantasy one but they didn't have any and I was so sad because again I really wanted another one. This is a replica of the statue that's in the atrium and for the magic it was mickey it looks a lot like the tokyo disney sea statue i think it's identical actually you just might not be wearing the hat and it is being repurposed as a newport bay club statue as well which is a bit weird considering they don't have this statue and they're just repurposing other merch because all they're really changing is this but they do do one for the dream and it is donald duck so i would love to get that as well and this one was $45, so if they do have Donald, I'm absolutely getting him. It would be immense luck for me if they also had the fantasies, but I don't think they will. And then pins-wise, I'm going to try and keep it to a minimum, but I love to collect the pins of the back of the ship. So this is the magic one. My friend Kim had to get this from Disney Springs for me, because the magic didn't have any left when I went on it. And then on the fantasy, I managed to get the fantasy one. So I've looked at what the dream one looks like and I'm of course going to get it if they have it. And then other random bits, you kind of find out what you want once you're there really. They sometimes do ornaments for Christmas trees, I would love to get some of those. I've got the fantasy one but I don't actually know where it is. I've got the animator's palette butter knife that I never use because I've only got one, so I might get another one so that I can use one and keep one for display. And they usually do Thomas Kincaid's on board as well, and there's still space on the walls of my house for more, so I might come home with a canvas, to be honest. It would be great if they actually did a cruise line one because I would just snap that up because obviously I've got Disneyland and Walt Disney World. But those are the main things that I'm going Going into the shop on that first night looking for. So that is it from me. By the time this video goes up I will already be heading home and I've given myself a little bit of leeway for the vlogs because I am back at work on Tuesday. So there's going to be a packing video next week and then the week after we will go into travel day just to give me time to edit that because by the time this video goes up 
the packing video will already be edited and uploaded to YouTube just waiting to go up. So have a great weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below what you're excited to see in the vlogs even though they will already be filmed and I will see you on Tuesday for a new video. Bye friends!